Hey minions, welcome to Crank It Up. I'm Jim Price, and today this seemed like a good opportunity to tell you about a new rule change that is coming to Smash Up with the latest expansion. I'm mentioning this now because I talked about Tech Center last week, and I talked about the immediate rule, a rule that I don't like specifically as it applies to extra plays, when a second part of the ability follows the preceding text. It doesn't make any sense to me, and I want that rule to be changed. And I'm highlighting this other rule change to show you that things can actually change over time, and it's positive because it means that there is always hope that some of the rules that we don't like about the game will actually get cleaned up, and there are people who are actively working on it to make it better, although it's a much harder process than you would actually imagine. If you couldn't guess by the thumbnail, the rule that's actually changing is the mulligan rule, something that has been unchanged since the start of the game, and something that I haven't liked since the start of the game. The current mulligan rule states that if you have no minions, you can reveal your hand and discard it, and draw a new hand of 5 cards. I've always felt that this was kind of punishing for the player, who really didn't do anything wrong by drawing bad cards. I think it actually encourages you to not draw a new hand, because you could be losing 5 very good actions, and there's been plenty of times where I've gone first, and simply drawn 2 cards. But that could also tell people that you have no minions in your hand, so it was really hard, either you're not competing, or you're giving away too much information, or you're going to be discarding good cards from your hand. I think the new mulligan rule is the perfect balance, because you need to start the game eventually, while still being conscious of the fact that you may have a bad draw. The new rule states that you can set aside your hand to 5 cards after revealing it, and draw 5 new ones. You have to keep the new hand, but the important thing is, is that the old cards get shuffled back into your deck. So while you are giving away some information about some cards that you won't have in your hand, you are getting a better hand, and the truth is, is that if you don't draw a minion in the first 10 cards, that's probably either built into the faction, or you're just getting very unlucky, the minions are coming soon, and you probably drew one of your really powerful actions, so I'd be inclined to keep the second hand anyway. I think this is a much improved rule for the game, feel free to start using it even though it won't formally go into play until Culture Shock comes out in the fall. But you can trust me, this rule is official, and I'm really excited for it to be brought into play. In fact, I've already started teaching people, and will continue to teach them that way, that way they don't have to worry about the old rule, because it was unnecessarily punishing. Are you excited for the new mulligan rule? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, let's shut it down.